Dua is very important. Dua can change divine decree. So dua one should make with complete conviction and yaqeen on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, nothing can change the divine decree except dua. Narrated by Ahmad, Maja and Tirmizi and it was classified as Hassan by Albani. Our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa has also informed us that whoever has the gate of dua open to him has gates of mercy open to him. So Allah is never asked for anything that he has gives which is more beloved to him than being asked for good health, well-being. Dua is beneficial with regard to what has been decreed and what has not been decreed. So slaves of Allah must make dua. This is narrated in Tirmizi. We are given hope upon hope when it comes to dua and the power of dua. No precaution can protect against the decree of Allah. Dua is beneficial with regard to what has been decreed and what has not been decreed. The dua meets the calamity that has been decreed and wrestles with it until the day of resurrection. And this is narrated in uh, Tabrani. Remember, if you have time to worry, you may love, have ample time to make dua. Make dua, dua, dua. Make it a habit. And there is no better time to make dua than at your weakest moments. Be humble, most humble, because you are shattered, you are broken. And that time you are so humble. Allah absolute loves listening to his humble servants and treasures of Allah unlimited. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, request to make dua, cry in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't have to call anyone. Ask Allah. Allah is available all the time. Remember, our Rabb is Shai Rabb. Describing a servant who raises his hands in front of Allah. Prophet Muhammad Wasallam said Allah is shy and most generous. He is shy that when a person, he or she, raise hands to make dua, he does not allow him to put them empty-handed. He wants to fulfill that dua. Yani it should be in the, you know, uh, like a circle of Islam, not like against, like uh, asking, uh, which is forbidden. Don't be shy to ask, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for something extremely big, small, petty, doesn't matter. Sahaba ikram, even a petty thing, like uh, tying a shoelace, for that also they ask dua. So don't think that dua is a petty thing, it's a big thing. Dua can change your life. Make dua with the humbleness. Uh, as soon as you do uh, further prayer, don't get up. Do a scar, zikr, and make dua. So this is a reminder. Dua is very important. It can change the divine degree. And uh, in Surah Uzzariyat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ayah number 51 and 55, and remind for indeed the reminder benefits the believers. And these are the we are believer. And we want the, you know, reminders. And may Allah guide us, make a lot of dua, especially at the time of uh, suhu, at the time of iftar. Because uh, people who are righteous, they make istighfar at the time of sihri, at the time of free dawn. Make the opportunity available whenever you can make dua. Make dua with humble heart. Jazakallah, Karen.